so this is dr bhupesh from dr bkm institutes once again today we will discuss about the oet speaking what are the peculiar points which we need to do in oet and how can we perform better in the speaking examination because speaking these days is being assessed at much higher level means to say that otherwise speaking used to be the easiest module and it is still one of the easiest modules but sometimes people do get 330 340 and then it is very hard breaking and then we keep on thinking what exactly was the case see please try and understand the first thing about speaking is that the first thing that you should know about speaking is fluency that how fluent you are so if you would be fluent you will be fetching the maximum marks in speaking i am not saying you can make grammatical errors or you should make grammatical errors aisa nahi hai it's not like that you have to avoid grammatical errors but still in speaking the most important part stays if you can speak fluently or not how would the fluency uh, fluency come into your tone would be about your practice the more you practice the better you become and please try and understand the more you will speak eventually you will improve slowly and slowly you will definitely improve there is no way that a person keeps on talking in english abhi bhi when i was listening to you there was somebody speaking and maybe that person was speaking in hindi i don't know whether that was a background voice or the student himself but it is just about your small sentences that will make the bigger difference so please do not be lethargic main isko lethargy mein hi count karta hu i count this part into lethargy only lethargy means that you are not you are you, you are taking it carelessly carelessly means कि आपके पास मौका था जैसे अब मैं हिंदी बोल रहा हूँ आई हैव अ चांस टू स्पीक दिस लाइन इन इंग्लिश एज वेल सो आई कैन ट्राई आई कैन प्रैक्टिस माय माइंड विल बिकम मोर पोर्टेंट पोर्टेंट मींस स्ट्रॉन्ग माय माइंड विल बिकम मोर पोर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड अदर्स वेल दिस विल इंप्रूव माय लिसनिंग सेशन एज वेल एज आई विल हैव टू वर्क हार्ड ऑन माई स्पीकिंग इट सो स्पीकिंग इज समथिंग दैट यू रीडली नीड टू बी spot on with and the more you will talk the better it will become fluency is the first thing second thing is grammar that we eventually do in writing every day that's why i tell you to write your grammatical mistakes two times even five times a day i can't tell you when i used to teach in class i used to make uh, words like this after checking the letters i used to say one one i used to write the mistakes ki ye pehli mistake hai one one सबको डेली ऐसे करना होता था वन देन आई यूज टू राइट टू 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 मीन्स ये ये काम अब आपको अपने आप करने होंगे अभी हम कोरोना से वी आर फाइटिंग हार्ड सो पीपल आर बाउंड टू स्टिक देयर होम लेकिन ये काम अब हमें अपने आप करने एक मिस्टेक को पांच बार लिखना है एक बार नहीं लिखना है एक बार से कुछ नहीं होता इफ यू वॉन्ट इट टू गेट इम्बाइब्ड इन यूर सिस्टम इफ यू वॉन्ट दैट इट शुड बी इनकलकेटेड इन यूर हैबिट्स यू हैव टू मेक मेक इट अबिट एज वेल that you need to write each mistake five times please do not be lethargic in writing your mistakes this is the biggest thing you do because suppose if i have a um, i was talking to a girl yesterday she had superb english she is in uk for almost 12 years she wanted to join oet she might be joining soon so the name of the girl i won't tell uh, but she will join soon and she was talking everything was fine but there was can be so it can be uh, uh, you know promise he cannot be promise so this can this promise is a verb a verb can never come with be because normally if i use a verb i say i go to school first form of the verb if i use with any modal i can go to school i should go to school i may go to school i might go to school i could go to school i need to go to school I have to go to school means जब तक ये verb यहाँ पे रहेगा तब तक कभी भी कभी भी कभी भी be नहीं लग सकता be क्या be का मतलब वही be means is एम आर बी नहीं लग सकता प्रेजेंट में आई वॉज वेंट बी कभी पॉसिबल नहीं है वेंट के साथ कभी वॉज नहीं हो सकता तभी हम कहते हैं द पेशेंट अंडर वेंट सर्जरी हम कभी ये नहीं कहते The patient was underwent surgery. First or second form of verb के साथ कभी भी कभी भी is एम आर वॉज वर या बी नहीं होते फर्स्ट और सेकेंड फॉर्म के साथ फिर आप कहोगे लेकिन सर हम ऐसे तो रोज लिखते हैं द पेशेंट वॉज एडवाइज 
यही तो आपको बताना है कि दिस इज नॉट द वर्ब फर्स्ट फॉर्म और सेकेंड फॉर्म दिस इज वर्ब थर्ड फॉर्म वर्ब थर्ड फॉर्म मीन्स इट इज अव वॉइस इट हैज बीन यूज विद बी विद द थर्ड फॉर्म बी प्लस थर्ड फॉर्म विल ऑलवेज मेक अ पैसिव वॉइस दैट मीन्स ये सेंटेंस उल्टा है दिस सेंटेंस इज अपोजिट वे द ऑब्जेक्ट इज आगे कहने का मतलब द पेशेंट वॉज एडवाइज बाय द डॉक्टर दिस इज अ पैसिव वॉइस वेदर यू राइट बाय और नोट इट इज ऑलवेज अ पैसिव वॉइस so please try and understand this simple logic so the more you will write mistake the more it will go into your subconscious mind and when you will speak automatically it will come into your system so to improve speaking there these are the two major things that everybody should do is to speak whenever possible and when you do any mistake if anybody tells you that ma'am you are making this mistake that uh, x y if you are making this mistake then that xy student needs to write that mistake five times only then it will get into the system it cannot go through conscious mind we cannot learn bigger things or the things jaise ki koi language if i talk about any language if i talk about small thing even swimming swimming let's say driving if i talk about these small things na so be conscious mind helps you but it is your subconscious mind that gains that skills ki jab aap gaadi seekh jate ho uske baad aap aaram se chalate ho idhar udhar dekh ke music sun ke matlab still you drive you still perform well still you swim so that basically implies that everything is possible and you have to tap into your subconscious mind and how do you tap into your subconscious mind by writing your mistake five times and then eventually you have to work very hard on speaking this is one of the lectures i already have given in the speaking part people say speaking do not improve speaking will not improve unless will not improve unless you will not start talking in english it is very kind of compulsory and mandatory to talk in english because if i take a speaking of 5 minutes of oet with a teacher and maximum time if i spend is 10 minutes if i revise that speaking it would be 15 minutes if i do two times it would be 20 minutes so that means out of 24 hours you are doing speaking topic for 20 minutes do you think it can be justified anyhow and people say sir i am doing topic four times i am doing topic five times do you think it will work i am sorry it will not it will not at all work it is just an illusion that you are working hard you are not if you are working diligently if you are working hard you have to talk in english 24/7 and that is how the things will happen otherwise it will not happen so please but if you talk if you try to talk in english most of the time suppose if you are talking 10 hours a day which normally which normally i am not saying negatively which normally girls do so out of that even if you talk 5 hours in english first thing is that you will be talking less so automatically the negative feelings will go by when we talk to each other we talk negative things oh my god oh it is so difficult it is not going to happen oh my god she failed she failed he passed he did not pass he passed he he did so why to talk about this thing so when you will be talking in english obviously you would be talking less and when you will be thinking about english so obviously we will try to talk positive so everything is a vicious circle it depends upon us har moment ek circle se shuru hota hai ek thought se shuru hota hai agar aap english mein bolne ki koshish karoge to that means you want to clear the test this is i always say every sentence you speak in english tells your subconscious mind that you want to pass this is the best line i can tell you every sentence you will talk you will speak in english tells your subconscious mind that you want to pass every single sentence take you in opposite direction of your goal and now there is nothing to wonder that we don't have too many users in oet most of the time 
because we talk in hindi we talk in punjabi i am not against any language i am not promoting english even i am just saying when we have an exam we should talk in english we should practice in english so every sentence that you will utter in english will take you towards your goal every sentence that you will talk in your own language in all your mother tongue except from english will take you away from your goal so please try and understand there is nobody who is harming us as much as we harm ourselves so that is the most important instruction i can give you regarding speaking this is something this lecture people will not like to listen but this lecture what i have given until now should be listened to at least five times so that your subconscious mind can understand how important it is to talk in english because if you will talk in english the person who will be replying you will also be replying you in english so that means that person will help you and that is what say if you start doing anything the whole universe starts helping you because that is how universe provides you help with the people around you when you talk to them in english the person who is not comfortable with english will either try to speak in english or either will leave you so it's better the person who doesn't want to try hard better leave you so that is even better that if a, if a person is not trying hard he should not be there around uh, you and uh, you would be better off by yourself so i'm stopping this lecture at the moment and um, just because i will be recording another lecture so i want people to listen to this lecture five times so that they can understand each and everything and then of course i am recording another lecture for the next speaking video